What's happening YouTube? It's Chris at Psychedelic Surfins and today I wanted to show you guys how I make some hides for my hatchlings. Um, and I'm actually making these hides for roughly about 30 cents a piece um, if you divide it out over the total cost um, that I paid for these hides. Um, so basically what I'm using for these hides is these um, little food container, uh, storage containers, and I got these off Amazon. They were roughly about $15, $16 for 50 of them. And the thing I like about these is not only do they fit really well in the V18 tub that I'm using for my hatchlings, um, but you know, they're also black, which I like. Um, I don't, I didn't really want anything colorful and that's all I could really find at like Walmart or any of those stores. Um, and what's also nice about these is they're machine washable and um, they're also obviously food safe, so they're not gonna hurt, um, hurt your reptiles or anything like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started with how I go about making these hides. Um, all you're really gonna need is, and you don't even necessarily need this, is, but I got this little template that I made out of some cardboard um, just to keep the, the cutout consistent in the containers. Um, and then you'll just need a Sharpie to mark that. And then the, the key to make this really easy is this tool here, which is actually called a hot knife. And I also got this off Amazon. And um, basically this is like a soldering iron, but it has a razor blade attachment on the end here. And this is used for cutting through um, plastics and styrofoam. And I think also used for wood burning projects, but um, it, it works really well for these, these containers. Um, if you try to cut these containers with like a pair of scissors, um, this plastic will actually crack really bad. So um, this tool here works really perfect uh, for this application. And it also leaves a nice um, melted edge, which is nice and blunted. So the, um, the snakes don't hurt themselves, you know, as they're going in and out of the, uh, the hide. So anyways, we'll go ahead and get started with making these hides. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera real quick so you guys can get a little bit closer up view of what I'm doing. Um, so bear with me and then we'll get started here. All right, so to get started here, um, we're just gonna make a, a mark for our cut with this template. Um, we can uh, line this up with the edges here. Alright, so now that this is warmed up, what I like to do here is first I start with the edges. Get those cut. And you can see how easy that cuts through there. Now I work uh, from one side all the way around. I just try to keep as smooth as possible here. And just like that. So you got a nice little cut. A couple spots I gotta clean up here. And that's what's also nice about this hot knife is, you know, if you have a few spots like right here um, that are a little inconsistent and sharp, you can come back in here and melt those down, make those nice and blunt. And I like to just go over the whole edge here and just make sure it's nice and smoothed out. And you wanna hit these corners real quick, just cause those leave some, some sharp points. And there you go. There's one done. So I have six more of these to do. Um, and I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on a time lapse uh, to show you the rest of these six. <laughs> yeah. 
up for my hatchlings so all that's left to do is get them put in each of the tubs so I got most of these already with hides in there but these bottom ones these are from my second clutch and I haven't got the hides made for them yet one of the uh, bananas that I hatched out looking pretty awesome hide in there. As you can see that fits nice and perfectly in there. Fits the hash between nice and perfectly. And uh, <clears throat> you should feel nice and comfortable now. Got another banana here. I think that one might be pastel and possibly inchy, inchy as well. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video for today. I hope you guys found this information helpful, and I'd love to hear you guys' feedback in the comments down below. Um, I plan on doing some more DIY videos like this in the future, so your feedback would definitely be helpful. Um, I also plan on putting the links in the description down below for the tubs that I used and for the hot knife that I used for this project, um, in case you guys want to do some DIY tubs like this. So with that, with that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace!